So if we have a force here, this one is force quantity and this one is displacement quantity. So this one is displacement vector, this one is force vector and angle between them is theta. Then work is defined as force dot product of S bar. Dot product is normally given by mod of F into mod of S into cos theta. And the value of work is a strong function of theta. Because if theta is 0, then cos 0 is, if theta is 90, then cos theta is equal to what? 0. And for 180, cos theta is what? Minus 1. According to that, work can be positive, work can be negative, or work can be 0 also. All our possibilities are also there. From this position to this position. So this is the final position of a block. Naturally, I have to apply the force in the same direction. So the block is displaced from this position to this position. These are same direction. It means that the angle between them equal to what? Zero. So what we call this one is W1, that is work 1 due to force F is F into S into angle between them is what? Zero. And what is cos zero is one. So this quantity is F into S. Direction of F is this and direction of S is also this. This and this is same. So angle is what? Zero. The weight will act downward direction. So weight will act downward direction. So with the normal reaction will walk upward. So normal reaction will act upward. Direction of motion is this one. So is the friction force is acting this way. So this one is weight. This one is called as normal reaction. And this one is called as friction force. Now if you want to find out the work done between work, so where the work is acting, is it acting downward? Where the S is acting is rightward. What is the angle between these two vectors? Is it 90? What is cos of 90 is 0. Correct? And if you want to find out the work between normal, where the normal is acting, is it acting upward? Where the S is acting rightward? What is the angle between these two vector is 90. So what is the work done? 0. And if you see the friction force, this one is W3. What is the friction force? Is it acting in leftward direction? And S is acting in which direction? Rightward. What is the angle between these two vector? 180. So what is this work done? Minus 1. And simply equals to what? F into S. Okay. So all the possibilities are there. Work is not equals to what? Fs. This the forces which contribute in work, they are called as active forces. And the forces which do not contribute in work, they are called as passive forces. So is it an active force? And is it a passive force? This one is also called as passive force and this one is what called as active force. So write active force are those forces which contribute in work either positive second definition is passive force which do not contribute in work that is work is what? Zero. Are called passive forces. So this one is active force. Example is active force. This one is active force. This one two are passive forces. Method in virtual work method only active forces are shown. So if you are using this figure for FBD, it's okay. But if you are using this figure for virtual work, this work, that is this one and this one. So these are 90. So 90 combination is not shown. This one and this one, 90 combination is not shown. Now check this. This and this, is it parallel? 
either same direction or either opposite direction. So this figure is used for virtual. What is the first conclusion? If the direction of force of the and displacement are same, is it same? This one is same. Not positive. If the direction of the force and displacement are opposite, is it opposite? Opposite means what? Negative. And if perpendicular, then zero. And perpendicular means zero. Is the dot product of what? Torque and theta. F is analogous to what? Torque. S is analogous to what? Theta. Linear displacement is analogous to what? Angular displacement. Both time it is a dot product. One time is a dot product of what? Force and displacement. Second time is a dot product of what? Torque. And angular displacement. And torque is angular displacement is analogous to what? Linear displacement. That's what will be said. Now just imagine that we have a one bar like this. And this bar is allowed to rotate about point A. And if the bar will take this position. So is the theta is the angular displacement. Theta is called as angular displacement. And if you apply the torque in this direction, so very first thing is that is the angular displacement of theta is anticlockwise, and is this torque is also anticlockwise. So is the direction of these two are same? So this time work is equals to what positive quantity T multiplied by theta. If we have the same figure, but this time my rod is also going in the same direction. So very first thing is that is this angular displacement is theta and I am applying the torque in this direction. So are these directions are same or they are opposite direction. So this time this one equals to W equals to what minus T multiplied by theta. I am not saying clockwise anticlockwise. I am just saying that are these directions are same. And we are saying here is the direction is opposite. We are not claiming clockwise and anticlockwise. What we are claiming is same. For example, if we have a bar like this and the bar has rotated in this direction. So is this angular displacement is anticlockwise. This one is clockwise and I apply the torque T1. So is this direction and is this direction is same direction. So what is the work done by torque T1? So is it a positive quantity? T1 multiplied by what? Theta. But on the same bar, if I apply another torque like this, T2, then what is the quantity W2? It's a negative. It's a T2 multiplied by theta. So don't stress on the clockwise, anticlockwise rather than stress on what? Same. Same means positive and opposite means negative. So work is possible by these two. But in mechanics torque is replaced by letter M. Force as it is. Angular displacement is same as theta and linear displacement is same as x or y. The principle of virtual work states that if small imaginary displacement is given to the system under equilibrium, then the sum of work done by the force and moment is always equals to zero. How is the displacement? Is the displacement is very large or displacement is very very small? Very well, displacement is very very small. So if we have in our figure P1, P2, P3 like this n number of forces and the corresponding value are delta 1, delta 2, delta 3. You can understand delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 are basically very very small value. They are the derivatives actually. Our corresponding displacement and instead of t we are using m1, m2, m3 and we are calling it torque. Torque is called as moment in the case of mechanics. So m1, m2, m3 are moment and corresponding displacement are del theta 1, del theta 2, 
theta 1 and del, del is very very small quantity. So small quantity, small quantity like this are corresponding angular displacement. Then P1 delta 1 is same as F into S, P2 delta 2 F into S, M theta, T theta, T theta and T theta. All this quantity will be equals to 0. That is according to principle of virtual work, the total work done equals to what? and this virtual work. So you have to just use one equation and then you have to solve it. Now naturally two types of problems will appear in the virtual work. One approach is called as geometrical approach and other approach is called as mathematical approach. Geometrical approach is normally solved to problems of B. Mathematical approach will be the mechanism problems. Which are mechanisms? You have seen the mechanism. This one is called as mechanism problems. Is it a mechanism? This is called as mechanism. This one is called as mechanism. So you can solve complex mechanism problem using my method of virtual work. Or you can solve simple beam problems by using the virtual work method.